Fam, what's up? Squad is favorite auntie with Uncle Tennessee's. Welcome to Sess Talk Sports. We got the Wednesday night recap of the WNBA games from May 29th, 2024. If it's your first time here, welcome. Appreciate you stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Hit the like button. Share the videos out. Stay engaged in the comments because we stay talking sports here. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, to the regular fam, let's get it. You're at auntie's house. So, Last night, y'all, we had three games, uh, pretty good games. I got to say, for, for the WNBA, uh, for every night of the season so far, the games have gotten better and better and better and better. I'm appreciating the, uh, the quality of the product of the games, the games that are coming out on the floor. Um, definitely can see the parity that's coming, that's coming along in the league. And uh, some of the way some of these, uh, some of these rookies and uh, younger players are coming along in the league and uh, helping to grow it. So let's get, into, let's get into these games. So we had New York Liberty versus the Phoenix Mercury. New York Liberty took care of business. They finished uh, won a close game, 81-78. John Quill Jones had 20 points, 10 in the fourth quarter. Sabrina Inescu chipped in with 22 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds. Natasha Cloud from the Phoenix Mercury gave him 21 points. Kalia Copper gave him 20 points. The Liberty, it, it, you know, it was one of those kind of back-and-forth games, but the Liberty were able to kind of get it done at home. They led early. Phoenix kind of fought back, got into the game. Jones took over in the fourth uh, with key points to really just secure the win. The Liberty started this game quick and kind of really never looked back. They were never really out of control of the game, even though it was kind of like a back and forth. Phoenix was pretty inconsistent. They looked out of sorts on defense at times. Inescu and Stewie had this great chemistry. There's a couple feeds where she's hitting Stewie, like uh, threading, the, threading the needle, right, going right down the middle for some, for some wide open layups. Phoenix uh, at times seemed to be looking or expecting fouls almost that refs just, they just weren't giving. Phoenix did manage to get a lead in the third quarter and make it kind of back and forth through the through, through the fourth quarter. But like I said, had no answer for John Quill Jones. Uh, Kalia Copper, she had some opportunities down the stretch where she could have closed this thing out and just just didn't get it done. I expect them to play better next next time. Veteran team, they'll bounce back. Diana Tarasi had had an okay game, but not really a a, a DT type of game. Uh, and Liberty were hitting threes. They they were they were hitting threes. Uh, so that so that that's always a good thing for them when they're hitting threes and, and Stewie is running the floor like she is. It's hard it's hard to beat New York. So a good win for them. Next up we had the Atlanta Dream versus the the O and uh O and, o and six winless Washington Mystics. Uh, final score: Atlanta Dream seventy three, Washington Mystics sixty seven. Atlanta Dream led by Alicia Gray with nineteen points. Tina Charles seventeen points, fifteen rebounds. Hard to beat them when she when she, when, when Tina Charles is going to give you seventeen points and fifteen rebounds. Ryan Howard chipped in with eleven points. Washington Mystics led by Ariel Atkins with twenty one points. Shakira Austin, who's also having a great start to the season, twelve points, nine rebounds. The Dream they defeated the winless Mystics. The Mystics are winless. You can tell that they're they're winless. They play like they're winless. Grand Charles led Atlanta. Uh, scoring with double doubles, Howard took over late with some key baskets and free throws to seal the, to seal the win. Washington fell to zero and seven. Their worst their worst start since zero and seven. I mean since 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 zero seven. So they're zero and seven, and it's their worst start since zero seven. It was a back and forth game, kinda, but not really. Uh, Tina Charles was playing against her old team, so maybe she wanted a, little, a lick back against them just for not being there anymore. You know when you know how it is sometimes when you go when you play against the old team. Mystics dominated uh, the points in the paint. But couldn't seal the deal, so you can see some positive stuff going on here. But they're not; they're, it's not turning into wins, which makes me feel like they need to shake up some kind of shot of new energy. Just not enough there. Aaliyah Edwards plays well in spurts, and she's developing, but she's not the answer there by herself. I do believe she will be featured more as she continues to develop and get stronger. But right now, um, she she can't be the answer. They have no interior defense, also. So that that's also a big problem for them. They can't score. And they also can't stop anybody from scoring. And that's why they're 0-7. Atlanta did just enough to win. And even though she finished in double digits and had some key plays down the, down the stretch to, to finish the game out, Ryan Howard seemed kind of off to have an off night. And I think she'll she'll be better. I expect, I expect the Dream to play, play better than they did uh, tonight as well. Last game on the docket was the one that probably I was looking forward to the most. And that was the Las Vegas Aces versus the Minnesota Lynx. I really expected this one to be a back and forth type of game. Surprised that we kind of really uh, pulled away. Uh, as the game as the game wore on from from Minnesota, a uh, good measuring stick for us for for us to see the, where where we where we are as far as uh, in the league and, and and the things that we need to work on. Our final score was eighty to sixty six. Uh, we were led by of course Asia Mother Wilson twenty nine points fifteen rebounds four blocks Jackie Young nineteen points ten assists. Almost uh almost another triple almost a triple double I should say she was flirting with it she only had five she only ended up with five rebounds though. Um, 
but but a great start to the season for J.O. too. I don't want that to be overlooked. J.O. is on the floor sometimes all 40 minutes of the game. Um, having, having a great start to the season and definitely could, should be in the MVP talks uh, uh, so far right now. Also probably in the MV, MVP talks, uh, Minnesota Lynx and Afisa Collier, 18 points, 13 rebounds. She's having a great start to the season. Courtney Williams chipped in with 12 points. Aces, we, we pretty much dominated the Lynx throughout this game. Wilson had a record historic performance with the 29 points and 15 rebounds, becoming the first player in WNBA history to uh, record her fifth consecutive 20-point and 10-rebound double-double uh, in this win. Uh, before before she reset the record, uh, the holder was uh, Sylvia Files, who had done it four times twice. Uh, Tina Charles also reached that mark in 2021, and Glory, Gl- Glory Johnson also had hers in 2017. Uh, Young, narrowly, uh, like I said, was flirting with that triple-double, so... Good, good, good showing out there from us. The Aces outscored the Lynx in the fourth quarter uh, to secure a comfortable win. Uh, I think that, that that we're cruising. We are trying to figure out what's going on as far as, like, Chelsea Gray. I'm a little nervous because Chelsea hasn't been back on the floor yet. I did, it didn't look like she was in the walking boot, so that may, a good, may be a good sign. I also know that we let Daisha Fair go, so I'm not sure if we're going to bring bringing somebody in. Uh, that's, that's another big or somebody to be able to help sure up uh, that guard that guard position and, and get uh, J.O. off the floor uh, for, 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 for some minutes because I don't know if she'll be able to sustain 40 minutes over a season, especially not when we are trying to uh, repeat. Uh, before I get out of here, a couple other notes. Brittany Griner remains out with a broken toe, but looks like she's pro- progressing pretty well in her recovery. Uh, the Windless Mystics head on the road for a tough stretch against the New York Liberty and undefeated Connecticut Sun. Uh, maybe they can pull off, you know, one of those just all for one, one for all, us against the world type type wins against one of these teams that they're not really expected to beat and uh string to, and let that be kind of like the springboard to, to string together a couple wins. And Minnesota forward Diamond Miller underwent su- uh, successful surgery on her right knee, so wishing her a speedy recovery and uh, wanting to see her back on the floor here uh, as soon as possible. So with that, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate y'all checking in here with me. It's your favorite 19 with Uncle Tennessee's. Until next time, y'all. Stay tuned. Talk soon. Keep hooping. I'm out.